everybody, it's Adrienne with Greenshire Homestead. Welcome back to my kitchen. Um, today we are canning some pickles. Um, now, maybe you don't like pickles, you don't do pickles, but canning basically is the same um, for a lot of different vegetables. There are some, however, that need to go in a boiling water canner and some that go in a pressure canner. But today, because we're doing pickles, um, that can go in a boiling water canner, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But I already started some of the um, pickle things that I've got going on here, and I wanted to show you with my cucumber. Basically, I, I cut off the ends, and this one is kind of long. If you look at it, it's not gonna fit in a pint-sized jar, and these are wide mouth pint jars. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, is cut off mm, an inch and a half, maybe, so I have about this size, and then what I do is cut it in half, and then cut each half in four, so I should have eight little, like, spears, and what I'm going to do is kind of shove them in the jars that I have going on over there, you kind of... Um, it's, it's like putting together a puzzle. You put, you find the places that are empty and you stick them in there. This one only has two, so it's got a lot of room for some. So I'm just going to, you know, throw those babies in there. But I've got some other ones over here that um, might need a little more wiggling around. And then I also have, you know, these ends that I cut off. And rather than, you know, feed them to my chickens, although I'm sure they would love it, um, I'm going to basically cut them in chunks and put them, I've got a jar right there that's got just chunks in them. And what I've done is put a little bit of dill in the bottom according to my recipe. And I use um, a ball canning book and that tells me a lot of different things. They don't sponsor this video, um, but I turn to that for a lot of different recipes. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut up these. Like I said, I cut it in half and then each half in quarters so that I end up with eight total. And then I just shove them in my jars, and I've already got my water over there boiling, and I've got a, a mixture that we're going to pour over it um, boiling over there as well. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky. You might want to have to kind of wiggle them in there. Like I said, it's like a giant puzzle. You kind of you manhandle them a little bit, and it, you know, it's okay. You know, don't freak out that, oh my gosh, you know, how many can we fit in there? Fit as many as you possibly can. Um, that one was squeaky. That one's not. But just wherever you can find, you know, a little hole, fill it up. This one I think has a hole or two. There's a squeaky one. I don't think I can do another one there. I can do one here maybe. Yep. Right there. Well. So see some of them are spears, and then I've got like the chunks over here too as well. And then I've got one more jar over here. Hmm. And this one is going to be, maybe I should just chunk these up because I've got a couple chunks left. So, you know, you just kind of look and see what you have available and um, do them the size that you think will work best. My head be like the spears best, it sounds like, but you know, we're going to do these some chunks. We're going to have two jars full of chunks, it looks like, and the rest are spears. And you might think, gosh, that's, you know, it takes a lot of produce to can. You wouldn't think so, but the, this original recipe called for eight pounds, I think, of cucumbers, and we had four. You know, I've still got some in the fridge, but I pulled out four because I thought I'd do half of the recipe. And, um, this is turning out to be almost a full recipe, I think. So anyways, that's gonna to go to my chickens. That's the end. Um, so we pretty much are done here. It says to leave about a half an inch of head space at the top. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing here. And I have something called pickle crisp. I'm gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of that to my jar. And that's just what the pickle crisp jar says to do. So I'm going to add that in there and then we're going to pour the hot liquid that I've got over there on top and then we are going to stick them in the boiling water canner as soon as that's all boiling. But the, the pickle crisp, by the way, is something that is supposed to help your pickles be crisp. I've had some soggy ones in the past, so um, I think this really makes a difference. 
So anyways, we'll um, come back and, nope, that's a pickle press. And like I said, it's, it's a ball company. They're not a sponsor of this video, um, but it's kind of like little granules and it won't be, um, it'll melt, melt, that's not the right word. It'll dissolve when hot liquid goes in on top. So we'll pause the video and then we'll come back here and I'll show you the hot liquid that we pour over it um, to go to the next step. Okay, now the next step is to pour this hot liquid inside my jars and this is just according to my recipe, all it's got in it is some vinegar and some water and sugar and pickling spice and you know, I just got this from my local bulk store, there's the pickling spice. Um, it also has some pickling and canning salt in it. Um, this is Mrs. Wages and they're not sponsoring either. Um, but these, this kind of salt is good for canning because it doesn't have any non-caking agents in it. Um, and so all it says on here is salt. So we put that in there as well. So um, I'm going to pour that in here, hopefully without spilling and making a mess, and show you what we do next. I did um, look at my jars earlier to make sure there were no cracks. I used to um, kind of think that I didn't need to do that step. And after having some spaghetti sauce make a huge mess because the jar cracked when it got hot and was canned, um, I check now. So I did look at my jars. Oops, yeah, I'm afraid we're, we're not going to have enough. We might have to add some water or more vinegar somewhere. Let's see. Oh, we might. Let's see. Thank you, God. We did have enough. Oh, no. I think we'll probably just put some more vinegar or water in there. It should be fine. There's some pickling spices. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to put the lid on real quick, and then we'll get started with that. I did put the lids and the bands inside some hot water. It helps with the seal. Um, and so basically, you kind of wet the top, put your lid on, and then take your band and come around and screw it on. So I just stick my fingers in, in that water there, rub around the top. Get a lid, stick it on, and a band. Here you go. My boiling water canner, actually all of them should have seven, you know, slots for you to can seven items. So I've got seven jars here, so that's what we're going to put in today. So I'll show you putting that in in just a second. All right, so here we go. I've got this, there's a wrap that comes in the boiling water canner. Side for a second, and basically each little spot is where you put your um, jars in there. And then that one jar, we were a little bit short on um, liquid to go in the jar. So basically, we um, because we had the pickling spice and the sugar and the salt and all of those things, we basically took a one cup measure and filled it half with vinegar and half with water, and then poured that in the jar. Um, so it should be fine. But anyways, we put these in here and then it says 15 minutes. Um, usually, because it's, the water is already boiling, um, we'll start timing right now. But the, you know, some things you start timing when the water comes back to a boil. But this was boiling before we put it in, so we're gonna do it for 15 minutes. And I wanted to show you something that I had that was really cute. Um, we used to have, I'm waiting for my stove, my, my hubby made me a canning kitchen downstairs, so I won't have to drag things back and forth, which will be really nice. But um, until we get the stove, that's coming in two days, yay. Um, and when we were at our other house, we used to, I used to go up and down stairs with the canning stuff. And so what I found out to do is take all my canning lids, canning bands, and I put them on a little ribbon and I tie a knot and so I can just carry a whole bunch of bands up with me. And I don't have to, you know, worry about, oh, I need seven for this. Oh, I need to put the lid on. So anyway, 
We're gonna do that for 15 minutes and we'll be done. Well, hello, my timer is going off, so it's time to take the jars out. Now, you don't wanna grab in there with your hand, so I have this handy dandy, it's called a jar lifter, and it's gonna grab the jars out of here. Um, let's turn this off so it doesn't annoy us. And we'll just put this lid off to the side. And basically, it's like fishing. You go in here, oops. Nope, wasn't supposed to grab that, there we go. Right. And I kind of um, lay them off to the side so that the water that's on the top of the jars um, doesn't stay there. So I'm gonna move them over here and I'm putting them on this pad to dry. This is just my um, dish drying um, pad that I have, you can use it for jars too. And some of these may pop before we are finished taking them out, I don't know, but that's what we're listening for. We're listening for a pop to say that they've sealed. If they haven't sealed, those are the items, you put them in your fridge and you use them right then. If they do seal, um, and they should, you can put them on your count or your um, shelves down in your basement or in your pantry or wherever you and you store yours. But we'll put these over here. And I have learned too that um, you don't want to leave the bands on the jars either. So after they cool down, you want to take those bands off there because if they get stuck on there, they're kind of hard to remove sometimes. I've got some green beans downstairs that I didn't remove the bands and they're not always easy to get off. So anyways, I've taken them all out. Um, and then, you know, this is pretty full of water. I think we've got it up to about here. And so um, we're gonna try and reuse it um, because I don't like to just, you know, throw out the water that's in there. So we kind of watch to see what's coming up in the garden um, to see if we can um, do something else in that boiling water canner. Boiling water canners use a lot more water than a pressure canner does. Um, and so I'll show you a pressure canner at some point. But anyways, we're, we're done for today. I'm just going to lift this rack out of here if you want to take a look at it. Um, and then I'm gonna put it kind of up the top to dry. And then I'll put it somewhere else to dry fully later. But it's off. All right, there's just one more thing I wanted to show you with these jars. I, I talked about the popping um, sound. And um, basically right now, if you kind of, sometimes you have to kind of stand back and, and look at them, but they have a little button um, area in the center is kind of poked up a little bit. But as they um, cool down, they will pop. They make a pinging sound and then basically it sucks it all in. Um, and so, that's the way that you know that it's sealed properly. So if it's sealed properly, it can go down again on a shelf. If, it's, if it did not seal, so you didn't hear the, the sound of the popping, and if you press on it, I don't know if you can hear this. Oh, that's kind of hot right now. You can't roll it here. Yeah, you can. Hear that? It's not sealed when you can hear that and when there's some give. Um, so, you know, we want all of these to seal, all of them, I can tell right now the button is up. So in a few minutes, hopefully, we'll hear pop, 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 um, and know that they're sealed and know that we can then put them down on the shelf. Um, and the ones that, that we had in chunks, they're really not um, floating too much. You know, sometimes you may see a little floating and that's normal, but if you can you know, the more you shove in there, the less you have um, the possibility of floating. So anyways, I hope that was helpful and thank you for joining us today at Greenshire Homestead. And if you like this video, please press like or subscribe. Thanks. Oh, there went one. Did you hear it? Awesome. Should we wait and see if another one goes or not? And it was that one, I can tell. Because if you, like I said, if I kind of look, I can see all the buttons popped up except for that one. So listen. You can't listen to this one. Oh, that one just popped. I pushed down on it and popped. 
So these other ones might pop soon too anyway. So I think we're good.